Delhi took out a Tiranga march in Delhi's Delhi University's North Campus. The ABVP has called this a march for the nation. They held the national flag uh, as they started their march from Ramjas College, the epicenter of the latest flare-off on campus, to the Faculty of Arts. The ABVP has accused left-leaning students' union, ISA, of extended support to those who have anti-national views and tendencies. On the other hand, the ISA has said that the ABVP is trying to suppress freedom of speech on campus, instigating the students' unions are national parties. For them, it's the right crime to spread their ideologies and to capitalize on the first-time voters for the 2019 general elections. However, in the bid to garner support, they have divided the youth vertically across the country. Meanwhile, a martyr's daughter has pleaded to end this war. There are those who are trolling her endlessly for holding a point of view. Let's go across to Mohit now uh, in uh, North Campus of Delhi University. Mohit, uh, what's the latest on North Campus, that march, the Tiranga march? Uh, we are presuming passed off peacefully uh, with the ABVP leading it and culminating at the Faculty of Arts here. But there were clashes outside the Delhi in Chandigarh as well. This seems like this latest flare-up is not going to die down anytime soon. We are hearing of a counter-protest later today by left-leaning students. Well, yes, uh, uh, it doesn't seem that the whole issue will die down soon. Uh, the ABVP took out Tiranga March and it went down peacefully because there was massive police deployment today. Uh, the Delhi police took lessons from what happened on 22nd of February and they had this massive police deployment over here. The senior officials were on the spot and the ABVP activists were clearly told by the, uh, uh, by the Delhi police official that they need to uh, go through a certain path and they will not break any discipline and they will go through it. So ABVP activists went over there and they called this a march for the nation, march for the integrity of nation and they said that no uh, anti-India slogans will be tolerated in Delhi University nobody who has sedition charges or who has uh, and uh, uh, raising anti-national slogan charges will not be available in Delhi University now the ISA plans to uh, counter this they will have a, uh, a march tomorrow in the uh, in Delhi University the march will start from Khalsa College and it will go towards the arts faculty and what we are getting is also that the Gurmahar Kaur who has been the center point of trolling on the social media since she has uh, said uh, something that she has raised her point of view and she might also be having a protest tomorrow in the Delhi University so uh, it seems like that this uh, this uh, a whole issue will not die down soon. We see, we saw that how ABVP uh, was protesting in the Chandigarh also, and there were also violent clashes reported between the left-based ideology-backed uh, organization and ABVP. And moreover, the political turmoil is being brewed uh, over this issue. We saw how Arun Jaitley talked about this issue in his lecture in London School of Economics. Then comments came from P. Chitambram, and today Manish Tiwari came out and he attacked the RSS and the BJP. He clearly said that the freedom of expression has been curtailed in the institution but the ABVP is clearly saying that no anti-India slogans or no anti-national slogans will be tolerated in Delhi University. So it doesn't seem that uh, this issue will die down soon because tomorrow ISA will have a protest and also ABVP is also uh, planning to have a massive protest on 2nd of March at the Arts Faculty. So nobody is trying to back down, nobody is backing down on the issue and they, the, the, the whole Array of protests is going on. Back All right, to. stay with us, Mohit. We'll also take in some political reactions. There are many today. Let's take a look now. What we started is not a political movement, which is what I really want everyone in the country to know. This is not about politics. This is not about political parties. It is about students, our campuses being safe from violent threats. Okay, and it doesn't matter what organization it comes from. Campuses are supposed to be safe from any kind of threats. Second, it's that nobody, no matter who you are, no matter what association, organization you belong to, cannot, cannot threaten women with rape. That cannot happen. So this movement is not for anybody. This is a student's movement. देखिए ये अभी एक तिरंगा मार्च जो निकाला है मैंने आपको जैसे पहले बताया था कि कैंपस का माहौल बिल्कुल शांत रहे इसके लिए निकाला गया और दो तारीख को एक बड़ा प्रोटेस्ट हम आर्ट्स फैकल्टी पे करने जा रहे हैं उससे हम ये संदेश देना चाहते हैं कि जो कैंपस में जो घटना घटी है और दिल्ली विश्वविद्यालय प्रशासन ने अब तक कोई एक्शन नहीं लिया है तो वो कम से कम उस पर एक्शन ले और जो ये जो तमाम जो देश विरोधी जो नारे लगे हैं और जो देशद्रोही
जो हमारे कैंपस में आके जो भाषण देने आते हैं जो जेल से लोग आते हैं उनपे बैन लगाया जाए वैसे दिल्ली में रामजस कॉलेज में की घटना के बारे में मैंने पुलिस कमिश्नर से स्वयं बातचीत की है और यह मैंने कहा है कि पूरी सावधानी बरती जाए और कहीं पर भी किसी छात्रों के साथ कुछ गड़बड़ी न हो संयत तरीके से ही कदम उठाए जाएं स्थिति को संभालने के लिए और मैं बराबर अपनी दिल्ली पुलिस कमिश्नर के कांटेक्ट में मैं रहा हूं स्थिति को संभालने के लिए और मैं बराबर अपनी दिल्ली पुलिस कमिश्नर के कांटेक्ट में मैं रहा हूं अभी जो हो रहा है कि छात्रों को लेकर कुछ राष्ट्रविरोधी ताकतें जो जेन में काम करती थी वो बातें यहाँ नहीं होनी चाहिए इससे पुलिस सजग रहेगी देश के हित में रहेगा हमारे मंत्रालय यही काम करता है कि छात्रों में देश के प्रति प्रेम हो देशभक्ति की भावना हो और इसी के लिए सरकार का भी पुलिस छात्रों पर पूरी तरीके से विश्वास करते हैं हम छात्रों को देखते हैं